Well, hello and welcome. My name is Kuber. Welcome to the channel. This channel is all about Canadian immigration news, updates, things you should do, things you definitely should not with your Canadian immigration application. And today's video is about Saskatchewan Blockbuster. Why am I calling it Blockbuster? Because it has absolutely road rolling all kinds of records in sense of the kind of invitations it's sending out. I mean, can you imagine they are absolutely hot? They are absolutely full steam ahead. And I love it because after we hear the depressing draws from Express Entry, no draws from Ontario for the human capital priorities, nothing interesting coming from any other province. And here this province, Saskatchewan, mwah, and they have been inviting people in, in big numbers uh, and have been doing that consecutively throughout the weeks. And that's the reason why I'm so excited. But I have to share some numbers with you because they're so interesting. Numbers, as you know, they always tell a different tale and they always make it so interesting. So basically, so far, what Saskatchewan has done is in the year 2022, they have invited 7,968 people okay, in their express entry and OID, occupation in demand stream. Since 6th of July, so this was the total 7,968 for the year 2022 so far as of date. But since 6th of July, and if you remember, 6th of July is also the date from when the express entry draws started. So at the same time, 6th of July, uh, Saskatchewan also conducted a draw. But since 6th of July, <laughs> here, here, listen to this one because I find this very interesting. Saskatchewan has invited 7,545 people. That is incredible. So basically, they invited only 400 people for the first seven months, or rather first six months. And then from July onwards, they have invited 7,545 people, people. That's incredible because they have now been conducting draws almost every single week. But that was until last week. This week, they have conducted back-to-back -back draws. Not only back-to-back -back draws, they have conducted <laughs> multiple draws on the same day. And that is what has gotten me so excited. Actually, I wanted to do this video yesterday, but then we had a different subject to talk about yesterday. And uh, so, yeah, let's let's head over to Saskatchewan website where I want to show you this. So this is the obviously Saskatchewan's uh, portal uh, draw page. You can all take a look at this at your own sweet time. But I mean, obviously, the I will post the link in the description box. But like, let's take a look at it. And before I see the 7th of September draw, I'm going to scroll down further and see the September 6th draw. And as I said, there are two draws which happened on September 6th, actually four, if you take Express Entry and OID separately. But we, since we take them together, we'll say this. So on the 6th of September and the previous one before 6th of September was on the 1st of September. So you see how, how um, consecutively and how quickly they are following up with draws one after another. So on the 1st of September, the lowest score was 61, okay, which we thought was pretty cool and pretty awesome. And obviously, the kind of knock codes they invited were basically all healthcare related. So these were medical technicians, paramedics, uh, psychologists, and those kind of knocks, primarily healthcare. But then came the 6th of September, they had a draw with a score of 69, which is pretty good. And they invited roughly about 300 and some 60, 70 odd people. But the knock codes were interesting. They invited 0621, 0632, 0 0731, 2171, 2274, 2281, 82, 3237, 6211, 6221. I mean, you can read these knock codes. I mean, I don't have to read them for you. But what is interesting here is they finally came away from their knock codes that they were picking up only for healthcare and they came out and brought out the general knock codes again. 0631, these are your retail sales supervisor, your food services uh, managers, sorry, retail sales managers and food services managers. They got out your uh, construction managers. They got 2171 back and this time at 69. They also got 2281, 2282. These are again your computer support network and uh, IT related knocks. 6211 is your retail sales supervisor, 6221, your technical sales. So they managed to get some, uh, you know, general knock codes in. And then on the same date, on 6th of September, they conducted another draw with the lowest score of 60. Now, the reason why 60 is so exciting is because 60 is the scoring point that you need to be eligible uh, in Saskatchewan. If you want to be eligible in Saskatchewan, then you have to score 60. So this is absolutely the lowest anybody can score. 
and then create their portal account. So they have gone down right down to 60 and people who are interested in Saskatchewan, they will obviously understand the meaning and, and, and the importance of the score 60. But obviously the knock codes were again mainly related to the healthcare sector and, and basically again the medical, medical technicians, paramedics and those kind of knock codes. But that basically meant they completely cleared the ex Saskatchewan pool from all these for all these knock codes. So all the knock codes were two two six threes, three one four through three one four threes, three two one ones, three two one twos, three two one two, three two one. I'm sorry, you can you can make out how excited I am about this. But these knock codes have been cleared out completely from the Saskatchewan pool. So that was the lowest score, sixty, which is pretty cool. And on September sixth itself, they basically total in in total between the two draws, they have invited seven hundred and sixty people. This was pretty cool, right? Uh, and as I go forward, what they then did, and this is this is where I'm absolutely ecstatic. Come the next day, which is the 7th of September, they conduct another draw, invited 943 people. And this time the score is 70. Now, I know a lot of you will say the score of 70 is high, but my friends, 70 is not all that high because earlier the scores of, uh, 76, 74, 75, 80, 82, 85, those have been seen. But again, the 7th September draw was exciting, primarily because again, we were back with generic draws. And when I'm saying generic, I basically mean generic knock codes. And this time, they also had some knock codes, which they have not been picking for some time. But not only that, they brought the IT knock codes back. So this time on the 7th of September, when they invited 943 people, they basically did what? One, two, three, four, five. That's roughly 22, about 22 knock codes, 22 occupation codes they've invited. Uh, in this, you have engineering managers. You see now, engineers usually have a hard time because provinces don't invite them. But here you had engineering managers, manufacturing managers, other financial officers, uh, purchasing agents, civil engineers, material engineers, a lot of engineers being invited, but not only that, IT knock codes came back. So you had your 2142s, your 21, sorry, 2172, 7475, uh, they were called back as well. So again, very exciting there. And uh, again, you had 6221s and 6222s, which were also invited. So overall, pretty interesting, pretty exciting, and I get very ecstatic. I get, I get very, very excited when I see this knock. Not only that, because obviously about eight or nine of our clients received the invitations and I was so hyper for them. So that hyper, I guess, is just being carried on to this particular video where, um, yeah, you can make out, right, how happy I am with this. And, and another reason is because Canadian immigration has become depressing. I mean, you know it, I know it. It's become like a sordid affair. Day in, day out, we're all trying to figure out something different. I know a lot of you were waiting today to hear back on TR to PR program. And I've said this before, I wasn't expecting anything, but there has been so much of hype in the market with the 8th of September, and they were all expecting TR to PR, TR to PR, TR to PR. Obviously, nothing came there. But then we also heard the sad news of the Queen passing away. So God bless her and, and she may she rest in peace. But beyond that, Saskatchewan, this, this has really, really uh, made a lot of people excited. But because what this also means, and, and you have to keep in mind, Saskatchewan has an annual quota of roughly eight, seven and a half, seven, seven and a half thousand people. Okay. Now, all the invitations they issue, that does not mean that is the number of nominations they will be issuing. The number of invitations is obviously more than the number of final nominations that they will issue. We still have four more months to go in this year. And with the four more months to go, and if this is the way Saskatchewan is, is conducting the draws, this makes it a very, very, very exciting proposition. So a few things I want to talk to you about Saskatchewan very, very quickly before I, I, I let you go. First thing is when you are when you're creating your portal account with Saskatchewan. So if you haven't created one, you most definitely should, because this is a great opportunity. As you can see, so many people are getting their invitations through. So if you haven't got a chance elsewhere, trust me, Saskatchewan could be that golden ticket for you to you know, get your way into Canada. So if you're getting ready to prepare your account for, for Saskatchewan, you need to create a separate account on Saskatchewan portal. That is the biggest thing. The differentiating factor is between the two streams, OID and Express Entry, is that if you are eligible in Express Entry, you will go the Express Entry route. If you're not eligible for whatever the reason might be, because you cannot score 67 points or your IELTS scores a bit low, 
then you will be wanting to go to the OID stream, which is occupation and demand stream. Sometimes some people, even if they have an express entry stream, they still prefer to go to the OID way because sometimes the OID scores can be lower. Not necessary, but can be. But you have to keep in mind, if you get selected in OID, it basically means when you process your PR application after you receive nomination, you will have to go the non-express entry route, which will then take significantly longer. Express entry will get processed within six months as per Sean Fraser's comments. So this is what you need to keep in mind between express entry and OID. That's the first thing. Secondly, when you create your portal account, you will have to say that you have your ECA, that you have your IELTS and everything ready. And you will then be checking off certain boxes and creating. It's a very simple, straightforward portal account. Once you have done that, you will obviously wait for your invitation. But a few things to keep in mind. Firstly, Saskatchewan is very, very strict when it comes to the field of education and the work experience being in the same sector. So if you are an administrative assistant, you will need to have related education. If you're technical sales, you will need to have related education. If you are into IT, you need to have related education. That is something which you need to have. And that is, there, there is no way around it. So when you're checking your NOC code, always check under the employment requirements. And it will tell you what kind of education you need to have in order to be eligible for Saskatchewan. So that is something very, very strictly followed by Saskatchewan. Second factor is that you will need to have at least... 10 years of work experience in the same knock code in order to get maximum points, which is 15 for your work experience. A lot of people get confused. They sometimes think that they might be able to claim points for multiple knock codes as it is possible in Express Entry. It's not so with Saskatchewan. You need to have experience only in one knock code. You can choose only one knock code. So your work experience, when you're claiming points for your work experience, has to be in the same knock code. That is another thing. And most importantly, where people actually get absolutely stumped is the proof of funds. For your proof of funds for Saskatchewan, you have to have aging funds. Your funds have to be at least three months old on the day you submit your application. So technically, the day you create your portal account, you should already have the available proof of funds in your account for at least one month on that date. So for example, even if you get invited the next day, you will have two months period to sort of get the funds aging and so that you can submit your application after three months of proof of funds aging. There is no workaround. There is no gift deed. There is no explanation. There is no trying to figure out a different way. If you do not have the funds which have aged for three months, your application may be refused. And there is obviously an application fee. Their portal sometimes can get a bit clunky. Uh, it can get a bit confusing, but it's not a big deal. So you need to sort of, you know, once you get the invitation, you will need to complete your information and then upload your documentation. You will need, you need to complete certain forms as well. But overall, that's, that's how Saskatchewan is. Uh, keep in mind, they're very, very, very strict when they come to assessing your work experience documents. So please follow the document checklist. Make sure you provide all the documents. Keep a simple principle in mind more is less. What I mean by that is the more documents you provide, even that sometimes becomes less. So try and provide as many documents as you can with regards to your work experience. And hopefully you would then have successful nomination at the end of it. Another problem with Saskatchewan sometimes is that they take a bit of time. It can get a bit long in terms of waiting for your nomination. So that can put you into a lot of anxiety and, and stress. But just, just bear in mind that at least it's a way through. At least it's getting you an opportunity. At least it's getting your foot in the door. So therefore, you know, that's a great one and great option to have. So congratulations to everybody who has received an invitation from Saskatchewan because this is incredible. I love it. Uh, that's basically all that I had to talk to you about because <laughs> I said I was so excited about this particular issue with Saskatchewan that I wanted to share with you at the earliest. Thank you so much for joining in. It's late, uh, but I'm sure... This news would have gotten you excited as well. Thank you so much. And I shall see you next time. Until then, stay safe, take care. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit on the subscribe button so that we can get those numbers going up.